Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Um, as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be talking about um, our 7th grade curriculum picks for next year. So first up, we're going to start with the Ambleside Online Year 6. Um, we have already started this this year. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've heard that uh, whole explanation. But um, also, we don't do Ambleside Online exactly as written, so don't follow me or um, what I do as how you're supposed to do it. This is just the books that, you know, we choose from the options. So first we have one of the history spines, which is Story of the World, Volume 4. Um, and also just if you're not familiar with Ambleside Online, they have these, um, I'll put a link in the um, description, but they have the um, lesson plans where it tells you exactly what chapter to read, what to do, things like that. So um, if you're not familiar with them, you should definitely check that out. Um, so after Story of the World, we have the Halliburton Book of Marvels. And if you saw um, my 11-year-old's review of the other Ambleside Online level, uh, this is one of his favorite books. And I'll try and link that too, um, if I remember. Uh, next, um, after you finish the chapters of Story of the World, um, you move on to Augustus Caesar's World, and this is by Genevieve Foster. And if you're not familiar with these titles, um, they talk about what was going on throughout the world during a particular person's lifetime. So during Caesar's lifetime, everything that was going on throughout the world. And there's a couple of different ones, like last year we did the Lincoln one. Um, and then I have these, they're not listed, but they're the Children's Plutarch, um, Tales of the Greeks and Tales of the Romans. And I can't remember if this is written by Church or it's by Gould. Um, so these are similar to the other books, which are assigned. Um, I think one of these is assigned, or maybe two of them. And then I have the other ones. So basically, they take the classics and then they rewrite them for a younger audience. Um, so these are his literature selections, but then I have the children's Plutarch so that he can read it independently. Um, and then relatedly, I have, this is by Church Stories from Livy. Um, Livy was a historian, I believe, who lived either... Um, during the Roman times or after the Roman times, um, and it's it's similar to Plutarch, it's just written from a different perspective. Um, and if you're familiar with Machiavelli, um, he has a whole book, aside from the prince, where he um, specifically addresses Livy and his characterizations of things, and so that's why I feel that um, it's important to study Livy. And next, um, these are... Two of the books that are assigned, um, and these are by Gerber. And so uh, if you've been following my YouTube account, I've mentioned how the discovery that these were listed in the Ambleside Online, even though these are um, often assigned in Waldorf curriculum, was kind of how I ended up going through this Ambleside Online CMEC kind of rabbit trail thing and switching over to more um, additional Charlotte Mason methods. So these are the two that are assigned from Ambleside. And then I also have these two versions, which are um, by a Waldorf author, Charles Kovacs. They're very similar, but I prefer these because they're more narrative and they're shorter. Um, however, we have done both. As you can see, there are bookmarks in here um, from when we did Greeks and Romans as our family subject. Um, then kind of relatedly, these are not Waldorf, I mean, these are not Ambleside Online at all, but these are from the topics that Waldorf teaches in seventh grade. So I will somehow be incorporating these. Um, the Age of Revolution and the Age of Discovery is kind of um, taught at this age because children are, you know, going through their own journeys of discovery and learning about different things. And then I think the astronomy is related to that. Don't quote me on it. Um, and then back to... Ambleside actual books, uh, Bullfinch's Greek and Roman mythology. This is usually called Age of Fable. Uh, he did start reading this, I think, with last year's list, so that's why it's kind of worn. Um, then you have What the World Eats, uh, which has been a favorite in this house from different... Um, my daughter read this. I can't remember which curriculum assigned it, but I've had this for a while. Uh, well-known Charlotte Mason title. Sorry that I'm all zoomed in. Um, and then I have Material World. I don't know if this one's scheduled or not. It's similar to What the World Eats, but it's about like how people live. So very anthropological. Good book. Um, and then the, the science books that are assigned for level six. These are two of them that we have. There might be more, I'm not sure, but Mystery of the Periodic Table and the Elements. And he's already started those as well. Um, and then we will move on to the literature. So this is mostly, I think, the Ambleside Online 
assigned literature, The Hobbit, Chestry Oak, this is a World War II book, uh, Miracles on Maple Hill, and Number of the Stars. So these are all um, go with the modern time period that we're doing for the CMEC. Um, I don't know which books he'll be doing from the CMEC, probably some. I haven't really gotten around to planning that yet, um, but these are Ambleside Online assigned titles as well, so um, it just happens to fit that time period. Where the Red Fern Grows, I was actually planning on having him read this this year, um, but it's assigned, I think, for next year. I don't know. So this will be at some point read by him, maybe this year, maybe next year. Um, when Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit and The Winged Watchmen are both um, CMEC books, and this is also an Ambleside Online book, also the modern time period. Um, and then we have 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne, Ambleside Online, and Call of the Wild. I think this is also Ambleside. Um, I did just have some of these on my shelf, so that's why I'm confused about um, which thing they're from. So that's the Ambleside Online big thing with a tiny little diversion. Um, the next thing we have is just like literature. So I got him a couple of uh, Memoria Press guides, and if you've seen my Memoria Press videos, you'll recall that for every chapter of every book, you have... Um, reading notes, vocabulary, comprehension questions, quotations, discussion questions, enrichment. So I only got him two because it's really a lot of work, especially when you have a lot of different stuff going on. Um, so Adam of the Road and The Door and the Wall are the two books with those Memoria Press guides. Um, and then I got him Geography 2, which is um, Sub-Saharan Africa, Asia, in Oceania and the Americas, um, and with the Geography One review, which he did this year, which was Middle East, North Africa, and Europe. So this is the um, teacher's key, and this is the student rubric. So you start with this, and you review what you did last year. So you have mapped North Africa, and you need to label those things. And then finish that. It's not very thick, so it shouldn't take too long. Then you have Geography Two, and I'll just show you um, this is the teacher guide. I'll show you what the student text looks like so you can get a better idea. So you, whatever um, lesson it is, you read the lesson and it has like by um, socioeconomic information, political information, geographical information, and then a map. And then um, you go into the student guide. So let's look at lesson three. You go to lesson three and then you fill in all of that information. So that's how Memorial Press Geography works. I really like it. I feel it's very done for you. You just open and go um, and easy to grade and all that. So we'll be sticking with that. Um, and then last we have, or not last, but next we have um, languages. So his living language is German. Um, I found this curriculum on YouTube. I was having a hard time finding something that was written versus online. He does do Duolingo, but I really wanted him to do something written. Um, this is the student workbook. I've had a really hard time getting the um, textbook, which is where it gives you the lessons, because this curriculum, I think, is from um, England. So the woman who's using it on YouTube, I think, lives there. Uh, so I got this on Amazon, and I had ordered the student book, but they canceled my order and couldn't fulfill it. So I went ahead and found the... Um, publisher and I ordered it straight from them and shipping wasn't too bad it was like five bucks so that should be coming soon but um, it looks very similar to the type of stuff that I like and he has been doing Duolingo this whole year for German so we'll see how that goes um, and then I also have Latin for Children by Classical Academic Press um, unfortunately this is their updated version which I don't love because I feel like it's really busy um, so we'll see how that goes he did Song School Latin 1 and 2 by them um, like this, I feel like this is going to be too difficult to manage on top of just doing, you know, declensions and conjugations. So we'll see if this works or not. So that's his language. Um, and I've kind of been jumping around, but next we will go to science. So we did have those couple of science books from Ambleside Online, but I'm also doing some of the CMAC science, not all of it. Um, we have nature study guide. May or may not have him read this, I'm not sure. It's kind of a lot. Um, this wonderful universe, outdoor geography, 
for Studies of Plant Life and Winners in Life's Race. Um, if you're a member of CMEC, these all have guides uh, where they tell you exactly what to do, how to teach, when to incorporate um, experiments and things. So kind of a lot to work with. I have to look at that further. Um, and then I still have the Moving Beyond the Page Science, which I know I said we're going to do next year, but I'm kind of not sure because... So these are the texts. You have this Earth Science textbook um, and then this book about the water supply, which is pretty cool. This ecosystem book, which is really short. It's like 20 pages. And then this ecology book. So this is a cool book. But like, if you look at the actual curriculum, it's just kind of a lot. And it's like, I don't know. This hasn't been working great for him. Like, obviously, it's not that difficult for him to do but it's a lot of like written work and it's very detailed so what I might do is like some of it but not all of it because I would the draw for me is I really wanted him to cover these topics the atmosphere oh, I think I'm even missing one um, atmosphere earth cycles and ecosystems I thought there was a water cycle in lithosphere yeah there's a hydrosphere somewhere I don't know where I put it um so like I wanted him to cover these earth science topics, but I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it. So um, I did want to mention that this is kind of in the back of my mind and I'm kind of still thinking about what to do. Um, and either way, that really goes with the CMEC stuff. So we'll be good. Uh, then we have some additional literature, which these are um, Brave Rider Arrows from a couple years ago. So a Long Way Home is about a boy that got lost on a train in India and um, when he was like five years old and there's a movie about it. And then this is a book about the Trail of Tears. And then this is a book, I think it has several different refugee stories that all weave together. And so um, my older girls read these back when they were arrows and really liked them. And I feel like they are subjects that he, this particular student hasn't covered yet. And I think he's old enough. So he will be reading those. And then the next thing I have, um, you, if you've seen my other video, uh, you know that I ordered this just because it came out and I wasn't sure what I'm gonna do with it. That is still the case. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I feel like we're gonna be using it. Um, for next year and so these are like textbooks so there will just be like probably reading and there's different enforcement options um, but I'm kind of just keeping this in the back of my mind too and thinking how are we going to um, incorporate this and lastly uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I'm going to be incorporating some of these things this year because we've already finished one year quote unquote um, of Ambleside and moved on to the next one. So I'm, he's continuing with that Ambleside stuff in a couple of CMEC books. And then we're gonna start this week, um, Bookshark Eastern Hemisphere. And so the way that we're gonna do this is I'm gonna give him the weekly um, like lesson plan. I don't know what this is called, timetable. And I'm typing out the discussion questions, which are an in instructor guide. And so this is kind of another reading comprehension thing, but it's also a way to keep track of his reading and knowledge and make sure that he stays on schedule and, you know, is getting all the reading done. So the first three books for this week are Wild Orchid. I think this is the Mulan book. Yeah, this is the Mulan book about the woman in history that Mulan, the movie, was based off of. Leela and Lad of Courage. I've heard this is a great character story and this is just a short reader. And then Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, which is um, my, one of my kids' favorites. Um, and so this is usually a read aloud, but the way that I do this is I don't start this curriculum until my kids are old enough to read these books on their own. And then I provide the support um, as needed and to keep them accountable and make sure they're getting it done. Um, and then he'll also do the Eastern Hemisphere, which if you've seen my um, in-depth review, and I'll try to link it here, um, I walk you through how these things work together. So we'll be starting that this week, and um, for math, he will be doing a Mr. D Math live class, and um, in addition to these arrows, we will likely be doing whatever the arrows are this year. I know I forgot to say that in some of the videos. Um, but to just do a quick recap, we're doing the Ambleside Online 
history stuff for history. Um, we are doing some of the Ambleside online science things as well as the Moving Beyond the Page science things. Uh, we are doing the, like I said, Ambleside online history, but possibly also core knowledge, um, some additional science slash natural stuff from CMEC, uh, Latin from Classical Academic Press, German from CGP, whatever that is, geography from Memoria Press, and some additional literature stuff from Memoria Press in addition to the CMEC and Ambleside Online novels. So I think that's everything. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Feel free to ask me any questions um, or leave any comments. And thanks for watching.